Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Sethem and welcome back to another video. Today in this video, folks, I'm going to be doing some shard openings. And as you can see, I will start with the ancient shards. Of course, that is a two times event on the sacred shards. And that is basically what I'm going to be doing. But if I'm going to do a shard opening, you might as well open up all of my shards. Now, uh, this is actually also an announcement video as well. In the sense of this is probably the last shard opening I'll be doing for quite some time now. Um, throughout this video, I will be spending somewhere around close to £200 on the sacred shards to see if I get anything out of it. Of course, it is a two times event on the sacred shards. So I'm hoping to get something. Um, I'd like to get something nice. But. You know, we'll see if this is worth it, to be honest. As you can see, it is a two times event. So, we'll open these one at a time. We'll see what we get from it. And uh, throughout this whole event, I'll buy several stacks of these sacred shards. So, Necro Hunter. All right. All right. So, let's have a look at his skills. Attacks one enemy two times. Each hit has a 50% chance of placing a 60% decreased defense debuff for two turns. All right, so that can be increased to 65. Uh, attacks one enemy, 50% chance of attacking all enemies with an extra hit. Okay. And then places a veil. Okay, on the champion for two turns if the attack is critical. Okay, interesting that right there. Um, potentially useful somewhere in the game. Let's have a look here. Oh, here we go. Catacomb Counselor. So this is my second or third of these. Um, ideally, to be fairly honest, if I don't get a legendary, I would most likely uh, like to get a royal guard. I still need one of those. Still haven't got one of those. It would be nice, to be fairly honest. So this is a fairly good champion. He's definitely useful. And I think, again, this is like my third or fourth of these guys. So I've got plenty of skill books, I guess, for a catacomb counselor when I decide to level one up. Oh, new champion right here, Pitiless One. So, this is quite cool. I did have him on a first account that I did create on my phone. Let's see his ratings. So, he seems to be fairly decent. Really good in the Spider's Den, by the looks of things. Good in Ice Golem's Peak. Okay, so he's got some uses. Attacks one enemy two times based on attack, so that is the damage. And then his second skill is... Uh, attacks all enemies. Each critical hit uh, boosts this champion's turn meter by 15% damage based on attacks. So he can boost himself. Pretty cool. Each critical hit heals this champion by 15% of the damage inflicted. Definitely a useful champion. He's got some sustain right there. Next one up. Oh, oh, here we go. Marksman. So that is it for the Sacred Shards so far. I did buy them, so they did cost quite a bit. Nothing good. Uh, well, unless I count Pitiless One. Um, the other reason I did go for it is for the Summon Rush. So I'm hoping to get the um, Legendary Tome right there. I do need some of those. I will be working on some champions, so that's going to come in handy. I'll grab these while I can as well. Um, I'm going to open up the Void Shards with that being said. And... Later on through this event, I'll get some more shards that I think are worth it. Obviously, I don't want to go too crazy on the spending. Um, probably uh, spend somewhere around, I'd say, £200 on shards. Um, I am trying to get the better deals. I don't really want to get the bad deals. So I'm close to getting a legendary tome. I'll see you guys in a bit once. Uh, I mean, it'll be in a bit for you guys. But I will put it all in a single video. We'll see what offers we get on shards. I'll have a look at how to get some more of these tomes as well. That would be definitely nice. Okay, so I was going to save the void shards for the next section of the video. Uh, where I buy some more of the sacred shards. But I decided to just do it now and see what we get. I did already start opening shards. So I guess that has slightly wet my appetite now i did say that um this will be the last shard opening in a while so that means of course that i won't be doing shard openings for quite some time now i will be earning and grinding out my shards i will not be spending as much money on the game as i used to spend up to this point i will probably still spend money 
but nowhere near so i'm definitely taking my spendings down with this game as much as i can all right here we are we got some more of these shards fairly expensive um all in all i'd say I probably spent 150 pounds actually on the shards i was also at work so i've got an ancient shard right there i'll open that one up or maybe save it we'll go for the uh sacred shards because that is the highlight of the video that is what i'm doing so i reckon on all of the shards that i've got and bought i've spent uh i'd say 150 pounds so that is the realistic number so i did get aethar which is a new champion to me bone keeper as well okay so we got bone keeper and oh cage breaker brilliant <laughs> This is my second cage breaker. So, as you can see, that is pretty much what I got from 150 pounds of shards. I think, if I do the math, it's actually 150 pounds uh, in terms of money what I spent. Uh, that's probably closer to $200. Now, the question, was it worth it? Uh, no. No it was certainly not worth that amount of money that's fine i'm not bothered about it or oh, this isn't a lot of money uh for what i've spent on the game up to this point uh i think it's worth it if you save up the shards uh, i think you need quite a few of the ancient shards to get lucky um to be fairly honest to get anything good my luck wasn't all that great with this pull. And as I've said, this is, I guess, the last uh, shard opening video that I will be doing for some time now. Uh, the reason behind that is I will not spend any more money on this game. I got what I wanted. I enjoyed my time spending money. Uh, I've got a good uh, roster of champions. It's not perfect. It's far from it. But what I currently have is good enough for me to play around with. And so I'll spend time leveling them up and doing other things in the game. I will still spend money, so I will buy the gem pack, the monthly gem pack. That is always useful. Uh, I always use the gems. Uh, so that's probably one of the things I will spend money on. Maybe some energy packs and some double XP packs and stuff like that. But all in all what i'm trying to say is i am going to go to a point where i will probably spend less than 100 pounds a month on the game uh whereas up to now i have always spent more than 100 pounds i have ended up uh, spending quite a bit of money on the game and it's now time to stop doing that basically <laughs> let's see what i got from here um i'm waiting on it there we go so from the summon rush I got another tome. They get ridiculously expensive afterwards, I guess. If you spend big, you get big, I guess, from that, as far as the rewards go. I think I will save up the Ancient Shard and slowly start grinding it out and save as many Ancient Shards. So that also, of course, means when there are double events and stuff like that, if I don't have a sufficient number of, say, uh, Void Shards or Ancient Shards, I will probably sit them out. Uh, not get involved in them as I have done in the past uh, and try and save as many as I can. I'm probably going to try and go as long as I can without actually opening any of the shards. Now, when I do make a shard opening, don't you forget, uh, I will, or don't you worry, I will, of course, uh, make it as a video. It just means that instead of doing, I don't know, three, four shard opening videos a month, it will probably come down to maybe i don't know let's say for argument's sake uh one shard opening every two months so i am drastically reducing the amount of money that i'll be spending on the game and so to end the video uh to address the question was it worth it for me no it was not worth it for other people it might have been worth it they might have got some legendaries out of it overall i think it's stupidly expensive uh to get those shards they could definitely make them cheaper uh, a lot more people would definitely buy them if they were cheaper um my personal opinion is that it's not worth spending that amount of money on a handful of shards with such a small drop chance that is my personal opinion this is why i stand on it i made and spent the money on it for you guys so that you guys can see my shard opening but as i said going forward 
things will change and i think i will probably stick more to just making gameplay videos for raid shadow legends i will potentially look at uh maybe doing some sort of a guide it depends i don't play it as regular as other people i just play it on and off it's one of those games that i take with me on my phone and if i'm bored and waiting for something to happen or in a queue or something like that i just take out my phone and start playing the game sometimes i will also grind the game when um i am rendering videos because that process does take a long time so that's kind of when i play it i'm an on and off sort of player i'm not as religious as other content creators with that being said and done that is it for this video folks i do hope that you have enjoyed it if you have please don't forget to support me in the channel by hitting that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself and if you have just subscribed why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel who knows you might just enjoy them and don't forget to hit that bell icon so they get notified when i upload new videos and content to the channel also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethtopia Discord. Links to this, of course, you can find down below in the video's description, as well as in a pinned comment from myself. Until next time, stay safe, folks.